Okay, this is a bit of a awkward start to the video. I was out last night. I'm running late for my jobs. Well, I'm only half an hour late, but still need to go home, get ready, and sort myself out, so. Yeah, just crack on. Right away. Okay, so I've literally just got home. I need to run in, get ready, sort myself out, and then go to my jobs. Okay, so now I'm ready to go to my job we we'll to go Tesco and then to my job because I need to get that meal deal so yeah on to the job so most mornings I set my day off at Tesco to get that meal deal because of convenience however I don't recommend this because Tesco prices are getting so expensive after I've got my lunch I set off to the first job of the day the renovation So this is the renovation, it's coming along very well. My intentions were to get a full video of this renovation project start to finish for all of you. But unfortunately, I lost a lot of the recordings. So it may have to wait to the next one. But today on the renovation, we've just got three things to do, which is putting on two latches and handles and putting on one door, which I'm hoping doesn't take too long because the door frames are all level and perfect and the latches just don't take long anyway and then we'll be off to the next job Once the three jobs are done, I then pack up and head off to my next job. I was at this job a while ago to prep the area. The problem with this area was there was a lot of peeling paint. So I had to scrape away the peeling paint back to plaster work, prime it with peel stop primer and then repaint it. Now I'm here to put an extra coat of paint on the wall and do a little bit of touching up. 
So first I put floor covering down to protect the area and then I start painting. And this is the area now that it's painted, looking very fresh. Now we're just going to go upstairs because I need to do a little bit of touching up upstairs. So now that all the painting has been done and the touching up has been done, I'm going to pack up, then go off to my final job. We're going under, there's nothing we can do. The final hour before we let it go to rest. So, I've just done that job now. It's getting a little bit light since I started light as well. It is getting a little bit light but yeah just one more job now this job is quite a while away it's an hour away so So now we're in the last job of the day. You may recognise this job if you've watched some previous day in the life videos. Here I built this stud wall. The plaster has been in and bordered and plastered this area. And the plumber has been in and done all of his work. So it's looking a lot nicer. Today I'm here to just put some architrave around the door. So I'm not wasting anyone's time. I am going to also edit this bit down. And then I'll tell you how much I've made for all of these jobs. So let's get straight to the edit.
so I've just finished the job the customer says can you while you're here can you play around this door get it to shut properly and fix that door all the way down there <sighs> I hate hearing that while you're here because he said it's not going to be a long job but it's a lot to take off it's a lot to take off the door and I can't chop it in on the hinges the door has literally swelled so yeah I'll need to take out the lock then chop out the lock and sort everything else out and he said he'll give me £10 but <laughs> is that worth it? would you do that for £10? would you do that for £10? I have to say no to this one because it's too much it's too much it's too late and it's not a little bit to play off and this is the other back door he wanted me to do while i was here yeah. this door had also swelled and the frame was just not secure it was just rocking all over the place so this would have took a while to do as well Sorry mate, I don't have the time to fix both of the doors. I can I can give you my number but with this door the, with this door the frame's falling apart. So the frame will need to be fixed. Yeah and with that door it, it, it can it can be fixed but I'll need to take it off and then plane it down because it's not just a little bit, it's it's here going all the way up so it's in the middle all right but, yeah sorry about that though if if it was a little bit of I, I literally would but it's, it's, it's a bit more time than i have all right all right i'll see ya bye bye okay now here's a moment a lot of you may have been waiting for how much did i make for these jobs but before we do that i just want to say thank you for everyone that subscribes, likes, I really appreciate that. Keep smashing that like button and I'll keep doing these videos. So, yeah, I really appreciate you all. So, thank you and let's get straight into it. So, how much did I make for these jobs? For the first job of fitting for one fire door and fitting for two latches, I made round about £190. I say roundabout because this job was done as a whole, a price job, and I charged 150 per fire door fitting with all fitments. We can say I made round about £20 per latch and handle fitting. On the second job, where I was doing the painting, I made £300 in total, but I did do this on two half days, so for this day, I made £150. For the third and final job of doing the architrave, I charged £70. Now £70 is my standard call out charge. So in total for all these jobs I made £410 and it was quite a chilled day. If you liked the video please consider liking and subscribing and until next time goodbye.